Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th. Now, keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is still fluid. These readings, you know, I'm saying it's for this week. It may or may not be. I want to apologize in advance for any uh, outside noises that you hear. I do have uh, window coverings coming. They <laughs> ship late. I really can't stand that, but whatever. I called them. But anyway, they're on the way. So uh, until then, we're going to just deal with the outside noise and be good. So let's just see what we have for you. What do we have for Pisces? They're on the way. <laughs> Anyhow. What do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Custom made, you see. The sun. Happiness. That fell out, so this is happiness. Uh, glowing, you may be glowing, you may be in your glory this week. This is this is happiness, extreme happiness. It's a birth of a new life when you get the sun card. Um, it's vibrating at a very high level. We have a new beginning here. I mean, when the sun comes out, everybody's happy. So there is some sort of happiness that is coming this week. It's probably going to be a good week. Let's see what co else comes up. This is a warm place, you know, it's a yes answer. If you have a question that you want to be, that you want to ask, it's also being accepted, you know, being in good health, healing, positive energy, very, very positive. What do we have for Pisces? These cards are so big. I should trim them. I think, I, I think I, if I ever get time, which I don't have any. Nine of coins, so abundance. This is abundance as well. So the nine of coins is a lot of abundance. Uh, Self-sufficient, capable, success, financial success. You could be seeing an increase in money this week or, or something like that. I mean, it's having plenty, sitting pretty, nothing to worry about, enjoying the finer things in life. Um being very grateful. Some of you may be single. You may be, I don't know if you're becoming single. You're happy that you're single. The, the nine of pentacles is a very independent energy, independent success. So whatever is happening this week, I, there's, there's uh, a lot to be grateful for. All right. We also have a very successful individual here who is abundant. Um, and really doesn't have anything to worry about. There's, there's, there's and whoever this in, independent person is, they are probably very happy with whoever they are, you know, with, with who they are. Okay, this is independent and happy about it, or you know, uh, successful and happy about it. This is this could be a business owner that has a lot to be grateful for. Okay, um, this person seems to be sitting here uh, reading uh, has has a lot, you know. There's obviously a lot on this person's plate, so you may have a lot on your plate, or you're dealing with somebody that has a lot on their plate. Um, there's a lot to be grateful for, put it that way. Um, now, the Sun card is a card of vitality as well, enlightenment and growth. So you may be going through a period of growth. Maybe some of you may be seeing some financial growth during this time. Whatever it is, I mean, if things have been gloomy, the sun is coming out, put it that way. This is a, this is a happy place, being in a happy place. Somebody's in a happy place. changes things we got the empress reversed that was right at 444 too i believe interesting anyhow the empress reversed that is unhealthy no i'm not sure what's going on here but when you get the empress reversed that's poor health that's 
you could be dealing with a woman, somebody that doesn't take very good care of herself, somebody that isn't very caring, isn't very loving, isn't very kind. There could be a lack of self-worth, a lack of uh, self-value. You could also be dealing with somebody that is mean-spirited. Maybe you're free because the sun card is freedom. It is freedom. And then the, the nine of pentacles is independence. So somebody may be happy about their independence from an individual that is very self-centered. I mean, the Empress reversed is somebody that is uncaring, that has affairs, that um, doesn't really take care of business, somebody that may be very selfish, mean-spirited, self-absorbed. You know, somebody that, you know, there's no growth with this person. Now, the Empress Reversed is uh, a very forceful, jealous individual as well. So you may be happy about your freedom from this person, you know. That could be the case. But we do have somebody here that is very uh, self-sufficient and has a lot to be grateful for. So that's interesting. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Also, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but now, this is a loss, typically. There could be a termination here. I'm not sure if there's somebody is is losing something. But they may be grateful for that. I mean, I, I mean, sometimes people are grateful for their freedom, you know. Their independence. Temperance reversed. Mm. King of Cups. Hero font reversed. So interesting. We have a lot of majors here. Um, so I feel like we have a broken commitment here or a broken relationship with the hero font reverse. Somebody's been having a hard time doing the right thing because of society when you get the hero font reverse. We do have a very self-sufficient independent person who does know their value, that does know their worth, that has worked hard to obtain success. Obtain success. <laughs> success. She probably can't speak, though. Anyhow, uh, to obtain success. Anyhow, um, Hierophant reversed. Maybe she doesn't speak. Maybe she's keeping to herself. Anyhow, the Hierophant reversed. That is a broken marriage, broken commitment. Somebody is very socially driven. They need to follow their heart. Temperance reversed is frustrated. Uh, something is off with the temperance reversed. Something is off. Sun card is clarity. Receiving some sort of clarity in regards to a person. Something, somebody's been repeating negative patterns. They're unhealthy. There's somebody here that is unhealthy. I feel like it's a woman. I feel like it's a female. <laughs> Could be wrong. I, I could be. I mean, temperance reversed is uh, unbalanced, disharmony, um, frustration. Somebody may be making you frustrated this week. Could be this woman. Could be a mother or an ex. <laughs> it could be an ex. Or it's somebody that you are. It could be somebody else's ex. I mean, the empress reversed. That is somebody that is miserable. But I feel like we have somebody here that is miserable. They are unbalanced. You know, not evolving. You know, they haven't evolved or something like that. They don't change. This is somebody that goes to extremes, is acting inappropriately with, with temperance reversed. Somebody's going overboard. You're dealing with somebody that has gone overboard or they're going overboard. And I feel as though um, some of you are wanting your freedom or you're, you're doing, so you may want to break up. I mean, I'm just being honest with you with the hero font reversed. I mean, that is like a commitment problems or relationship problems or marriage problems. It is. And I feel like your your intuition or your gut is guiding you. It's talking to you. It's speaking to you. 
Um, we do have a very independent, self-sufficient individual here who probably is just waiting because this person seems to be waiting. They have plenty, you know, they're working on their business. They're working on themselves. They probably have a lot on their plate, but like waiting for some sort of love. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, the King of Cups is uh, somebody that has love to offer, is looking for love, generally uh, feels love. But there, I feel like there's somebody here that is causing an imbalance or they're causing some frustrations or something like that. Um, and, and it may have to do with the termination, you know. This is, like, this is like unwilling to change, unwilling to make a move, unwilling to move, something like that. I do feel like there's, there's some sort of loss here with the Empress Reverse. Somebody may be feeling at a loss. Whoever this person is, is having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. I mean, that's what this is. Okay, the hero font reverse. That is being controlled by society. Not listening to your gut. So somebody needs to listen to their gut. They need to follow their gut. They need to follow their intuition and not worry about society. Not worry about what everybody else is going to say. There's definitely an opportunity for happiness here, but in order to get that happiness, you have to follow your heart. Something is definitely off with a woman here. This woman doesn't know her value or doesn't know her worth, or, or maybe she didn't, I don't know, or just doesn't, it's, it's not unconditional love. There's a lack of uh, sensuality. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of, of tender love and care from this person female looks like it's a female to me it could be a feminine energy um, but we do have a new beginning and we have a new opportunity here with that sun card to bring balance to your life it feels like you have an opportunity for success it may require you to change something with whoever this is that you are dealing with see this is a change that is needed but this is resistance to change so a change is, there's something better. If you think about temperance in the upright, it's exchanging something lesser for something better. But somebody is struggling to do that. There is something better here that can bring a lot of abundance, but you will have to, you know, follow your heart in some way, you know? So anyway, I feel like we, 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 have, uh, we have an individual here that is definitely looking for love, definitely wanting love, but they may be dealing with an individual maybe that they are currently committed with or something like that that they can't, you know, they need to exchange, but they can't exchange or something like that. What is going on with Pisces? Hero font reverse. That is social pressure. On the floor it went. Doing the opposite. Somebody is doing the opposite of what their heart wants. This just fell on the floor. It is upright. Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is extremely overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed. They're trying to do too much. They've reached a breaking point. So I do feel like there's going to be a breaking point this week. Where we got somebody here. This could be like a collapse. You know, things just fall apart. Can't do it anymore can't do it anymore there is an opportunity here there's an opportunity for abundance but it may require you know um accepting a change because temperance is reversed it's like i mean there is acceptance there's a need to accept this is not accepting that is accepting so this it's about accepting accepting that something needs to change so i feel like you know for some of you you could be taking on that empress and reversed energy you are capable of being by yourself and male or female because uh, there's feminine and masculine and if it's and if I think it's an exact female you know all that you know this could be a male or a female I feel like we have somebody here that is capable of being alone and they may be happier being alone than being with somebody that is very forceful and uh, jealous and uh, overly protective and 
that has affairs, you know. You're probably better off being alone than being tied to somebody that is controlling you, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, if you are single and you are watching this, you probably have a bright opportunity right in front of you, okay? This is bright. It's, it's, it's a new beginning. If you're single, you're sitting there, you're self-sufficient, you have plenty, and you are enjoying your life. And this could be for the cross-watcher as well. You have an offer of love here. We have a very successful independent person here that has an offer of love coming in, okay? All they have to do is let go of the, it feels like it's a previous commitment, okay? Because this is a commitment and that's letting go. And this is letting go. Stop holding on to whatever it is that is burdening you, that is, that is, dead weight you know just let go let go of that dead weight you have an opportunity for love here you absolutely do but it will require an exchange you get rid of something lesser for something better okay so this week you're going to be presented with a beautiful opportunity because this is beautiful. I mean, what does the sun bring out? The sun brings out beauty, right? It makes everything more beautiful, right? When the sun is shining, trust me, I know I've been seeing it every day. Okay, so when the sun comes out, it's like, oh, so beautiful. So anyway, I do believe that you have a beautiful opportunity here for abundance and happiness and love, okay? But you, it's always, always, always your choice. So I do believe that this is a week where um, there's an opportunity for change, but you have to know your value and your worth. You have to know what your value is, okay? You really have to follow your heart as well. And for some of you, I feel like social pressure is what the biggest problem is. What's it, This is like disgrace. It's embarrassment. Don't worry about what everybody else has have to say because what really matters is what's inside your heart. Okay? You will be respected for following your heart. So anyway, I feel like I feel like this is a week where somebody has been uh, holding on to something that they really need to let go of. Because there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness. So anyway, um Ten of Cups which I knew there was. Ten of Cups is, could be a permanent love. It's a spiritual blessing. It's, it's fulfillment. So you got, you got an opportunity for, for a relationship here, a happy relation, happy, happily ever after, right? Forever. Let's just call it forever. So yeah, there's an opportunity, but you have to follow your heart. I do believe that there is... And this could be for whoever is watching this reading. We have somebody that is going to be expressing their feelings. Okay? They're going to be expressing their feelings. It could be falling in love. This could be a brand new beginning that leads to forever. So anyway, Pisces, you're going to, whatever's happening, it's, it's beautiful. There's an exchange here. There is. There is. I feel like we have a broken relationship that somebody has been holding on to and it's time to let it go. And I feel like we have a new beginning in love. Good luck.